Hey, this is Brett, and this 2020 GMC Yukon XL Denali is stock number 13425Z. I am here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used SUV headquarters. This 2020 GMC Yukon XL has the 6.2 liter V8 gas engine. This Yukon has been fully safetyed and inspected by our service shop per the state of Wisconsin inspection process. It has a fresh oil and filter change. All the fluids have been checked and topped off and it is 100% ready to go. I'm gonna go all the way around inside, start it up, take a look under the hood and give you the most accurate representation of the vehicle that I can. Summit white is the color and I shoot all my videos in 4K. So if you have HD capabilities, turn them on now because it is your best way to check out the quality, condition, options, and of course, cleanliness of the vehicle before seeing it in person. Down this side of the vehicle, rear quarter looks really good. I didn't see any major dents or dings. Driver's side doors look really good as well, as does the front fender. If you like the video, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash summit auto. Click the bell notifications and you'll get updates on the videos I do each and every day might just find your next vehicle there if this is not the one. This one does come with 22 inch chromed alloy rims and it has Bridgestone Dueler HL tires. These are P28545R22s and they have right around half the tread left on them. I didn't see any scuffs or scrapes on that rim. Coming around to the front, front bumper's in great shape. Does have the front bumper parking sensors. No major dents, dings or cracks on there. I will say that it does come with a 3M tape on there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a 3M tape. Now there is a little bit of a scuff on the tape, but the fender and the bumper looks to be just fine. The hood also has that wrap on it up to here. I don't know if you can see that either, but it's uh, so that's not a scratch. That's just the 3M tape and it actually can come off pretty easily. I think the grill is in excellent shape as well. And I didn't see any dents or dings on the hood. Passenger side front fender looks really good as well. And the passenger side rim, I didn't see any major scuffs or scrapes on that rim. Looks really, really good. Now as you go down this side of this 2020 GMC Yukon XL, take note of how clean that body is, how reflective and mirror-like that paint is. I take these HD videos, so if you are far away or even if you're close by and you just cannot make the trip down, but you're still interested in purchasing the vehicle, you can see the vehicle, hear the vehicle, and of confidence in what you're looking at before you even get here. So when you do get here, there's absolutely no surprises and you can make a smart and informed buying decision from wherever you're at. If this video helps you make that buying decision, let your salesman know that you saw the video, that it was helpful and that Brett sent you. Back rim, nice shape as well. And the back tires have just as much tread as the front tires. Frame and underbody looks pretty good. This is a uh, one owner out of Nebraska, or I'm sorry, North Dakota, my bad out of North Dakota. Looks really good under there. Comes with the factory uh, step bars, or running boards, I should say. LED tail lamps coming around to the back. Rear bumper is in nice shape. Do you get the uh, full towing package, which gives you the receiver hitch and the seven pin wiring. We do have the cover for that. Rear gate is in nice shape. It is a power lift gate. That works nicely. Back storage area, here's the uh, cover for that receiver hitch. That's in really nice shape. Get a little bit of storage underneath here. And then those third row seats do power fold down. I wish the uh, headrests were down so I could show you that, but uh, it's hard to do with one hand. There we go. So I'll put that seat down. I'm always amazed at how fast they go and then how fast they go up. And you can see just how nice and flat that those do go. I'll show you the passenger or the driver's side. It won't go down all the way because that headrest is up, but that works nicely and is just as fast. Uh, to get this gate up or gate down, you press that button. It does have the flipper glass with that button right there. That flips up like so, and you can see that's nice if you got a trailer on, you can't open up the gate, you can still get to your stuff in the back. And you can see that those rear defrost cables are still attached. Shuts nice and solidly. 
does have the capless fuel fill, which is a nice feature. Never get gas on your hands. Back rim is in excellent shape as well, no scuffs or scrapes. And down the rest of the side, once again, looks really good. You do get the blind spot monitoring, built in directional signals, heated mirrors, I'm pretty sure those mirrors power fold in. Inside you get the, I think they call it khaki interior, or it's kind of like a gray, tan, Really nice shape, no rips or tears. Smells very clean inside this vehicle. You get the factory all-weather floor mats, the power telescopic and tilt steering wheel, factory brake controller, power pedals, lane departure warning, stability control. It does have the heads-up display, turn dial four-wheel drive, and auto headlamps, power windows, locks, and mirrors. And like I said, these mirrors do power fold in. I always like showing both sides so that you know that both sides are working properly. does have memory driver seat and Bose sound. Get the nice wood grain trim on the doors. Second row seats, you get the quad seating back here. No rips or tears on the seats. You get the latch child safety system. Passenger side back seat is in nice shape. This one does have the dual Blu-ray DVD players. These seats fold down and up like so. And the third row seats are in fantastic condition as well. Uh, these second row seats are heated. You get rear air controls, HDMI, two USBs, and an AUX jack, 110 volt, 150 watt plug-in, and then a 12 volt power point right there as well. Bottoms of the doors all look really good on this vehicle. We'll hop inside, check out the miles, the radio, and everything that this Yukon XL has to offer on the interior. Get the nice digital instrument cluster there, and I think it's going to make me start it, see the miles. That's fine. We'll start it up. Starts right up, no check engine lights or anything like that. It does have 29,665 miles on it. You do get the digital speedometer on there. Has the heated leather wrapped steering wheel, Bluetooth and information center controls on the right, cruise controls, adaptive cruise controls, and heated steering wheel controls on the left. So if you press that, you can change your gap to how far you want the uh, your vehicle to stay behind the person in front of you, which is pretty cool. You get the GMC IntelliLink system. This one, of course, has the factory navigation system on it. There's Highway 41, so that is working nicely. You get AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. This is also where your backup camera shows up. You can see that that is working nicely as well. Down here is your CD player, um, your dual climate controls, and uh, your rear air controls as well. You also have a little storage area behind the radio with a USB plug-in, which is pretty neat. And you get your heated and cooled seat buttons right there as well. Your keyless entry with remote start, power lift gate, passenger side floor mat and seat are in fantastic condition as well. You also get the Denali stitched into the headrest. That headliner is in great shape and you do get the power sunroof in front. Map lights, home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems, sunroof and rear gate controls, and OnStar and SOS buttons in the rear view mirror. All right, uh, also one last thing, wireless cell phone charge pad right there. We'll uh, take a look under the hood. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but that heads up display in the uh, windshield there, right there is working nicely as well. There is the VIN sticker, or I'm sorry, your tire and loading information sticker, and then the VIN sticker is right there. All right, really a nice ride. This one also has the 10-speed automatic transmission. You get the HID headlamps, the LED running lights on this one. And I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today, and hopefully from this HD video, you've been able to verify the quality, condition, options, and of course, cleanliness of the vehicle inside and out. Under the hood, 
get the 6.2 liter V8 gas engine. Engine bay is very clean, runs very smooth. Once again, this Yukon XL has been fully safety and inspected by our service shop per the state of Wisconsin inspection process. It has a fresh oil and filter change. All the fluids have been checked and topped off and it is 100% ready to go. There is your emissions sticker. And I would highly recommend this Yukon XL from a quality and condition standpoint. I think whoever gets it is going to be very happy with the quality and condition. And to see more pictures of this Yukon or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, half tons, three quarter tons, one tons, you name it, we gotta go to that website right there, summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. Click the bell notifications and you'll get updates on the videos we do each and every day here at Summit Automotive. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Yukon XL videos like this one in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and we're super excited to help you with this ultra clean 2020 GMC Yukon XL Denali in Summit White Clear Coat. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really, really appreciate it. Thanks again.